a pleasant day everyone i'm regine evangelista from tom 11. for today's video we will be discussing measure of relative position especially the z-score this lesson covers content of three topics which are percentile quartile and especially the z-score before we proceed to our main topic let me give you a few information about percentiles and quartiles. Let's start with percentiles. A percentile is a measure used in a statistic indicating the value below, which a given percentage of observation in a group of observation fall. These are the three formula. 25th percentile, also called first quartile. 58th percentile means median. 75th percentile known as third quartile the second one is quartiles quartiles are the value that divide a list of number into quarters put the list of number in order then cut the list into four equal parts the quartiles are the cuts it's the sample of percentile and quartiles and now let's proceed to our main topic which is z-score a Z-score is used when the direct comparison of raw score is impossible. A standard score or Z-score for a value is obtained by subtracting the mean from the value and dividing the result by the standard deviation. So now, let's proceed to Z-score formula. So we're going to use this formula. Value minus mean all over the standard deviation. Always remember z-score can have negative as well as positive values. For population data, we're going to use the mu symbol x minus mean over the standard deviation. For the sample data, we're going to use formula x minus the mean over the standard deviation. I will give you an example. JD take the exam and score 1,100. The mean score for the exam is 1,026. And the standard deviation is 209. How will did JD score on the test compared to the average test taker? We will going to use the formula for population data. The value of x equals to 1,100 mean equals to 1026 standard deviation is equals to 209 we're going to substitute 1100 minus 1026 divided by 209 the answer is 0 0.35 let's proceed to example number two which of the following exam scores has a better relative position? A score of 55 on a math test with the mean of 50 and with the standard deviation of 5 or a score of 85 on English test with the mean of 80 and the standard deviation of 8. Using the formula of sample data, the first score is 55 which is Rx. And the value of mean is 50. And the standard deviation is 5. We will substitute the x which is 55 minus the mean which is 50. Divided by standard deviation which is 5. Or 55 minus 50 divided by 5. The answer is 1. Using the same process, we substitute 82 minus 80 divided by 8. The answer is 0 0.25. So that the position in the math test is higher than the position in English test. Thank you for giving time to listen to my discussion. That's all for today. Have a good day. Thank you.